Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Now in today's video we are going to be taking a look at an alternate shell for Windows 3.1 called Calmira. And this was actually uh, suggested to me by a user named Michael over on Facebook who sent me a message um, telling me about this website. And essentially what this is, if you haven't heard of it, uh, Calmira is an alternate shell, as I said, for Windows 3.1 that uh, makes it look and feel a bit more like Windows 95. And what's kind of unique about uh, this specific alternate shell right here is that it was actually created around the time that Windows 95 came out. And it was, you know, intended for those people who weren't really sure about Windows 95, they weren't, I mean, because to get like an upgrade version of Windows 95, it cost around $100. Um, so if you were at the time, you know, picture you know yourself in the mid 90s using Windows 3.1. You hear about this new Windows 95 thing. You're not really sure about it. You're not really sure if you you know want to upgrade to it, but you want to get a feel for it and see if it's something that you could possibly use. Well, Calmira here essentially tried to do that for you. It was a free download, and you know still is a free download over here on Calmira.de, where you could download this to your computer. You could install it, and it's uh, as you're going to see later on in this video. This kind of makes it look uh, very similar to Windows 95. I mean, there are a few you know differences that you will be able to tell uh, that it's not Windows 95, but it, it overall, for a piece of free software, does a very good job at kind of transforming your user experience to one that is more like Windows 95 to the point where honestly a novice user could you know take a look at this and go oh cool you're you're running Windows 95 when in reality you're only running Windows 3.1 so if you want to download this I mean this doesn't really have much uh, practical use today because I don't think there's many people out there still using Windows 3.1 um, but it's just kind of cool to take a look at and kind of go back in time a little bit and and, and see what this was like to experience uh, in the mid 90s. So this is the website right here. They actually have a few different versions of it. They've got one that uh, kind of transforms the user interface to Windows 95, and they also have a version called Calmira XP, which, as the name suggests, will make the user interface look very similar to Windows XP. We might be taking a look at that in a later video, but today I wanted to specifically focus on the 95 version of it. Now, if we go over here uh, to the like change log slash news page, you can see it goes all the way back to the 7th of March, 1997. And I don't believe that this was the first entry because as you see, this is uh, an update for a patch file of a DLL. Now, I'm not able to find the exact date that this was released, but if any of you guys know that, be sure to let me know down in the comments as uh, I would appreciate it. I'm sure a, a lot of other people would as well. But uh, this is the earliest date that I can find on their website here. And this piece of software was last updated around 2008. If we go to the main news page here, you can see that the last post was on the 31st, which apparently they used like the wrong, you know, they used TH instead of ST. So the 31st of March 2008 uh, is, and they were talking about a new version of Calmira Longhorn Vista, which has been released. So we also may be taking a look at that as well. But as I said today, let's just go ahead and focus on the 95 variant, which is the original one. So what I have here is a uh, VM setup uh, running Windows 3.1, uh, freshly installed. And we're going to go into uh, the file manager here, and we're going to install the program from the c33setup.exe. So we're going to go ahead and run that. It'll come up with a prompt right here saying this will install Calmira 2. Do you wish to continue? We're going to say yes. And it comes up with a very install shield looking wizard. I think this may actually be a install shield uh, wizard, just a super old version of it to run on Windows 3.1. So we're going to go ahead and click on next. Uh, this is open source, as I said, so it is uh, licensed under the uh, GNU General Public License. Um, so we're going to uh, accept that agreement. It's going to ask us where we want to install it. We're just going to do it to the default C Calmira directory. It will take 1.7 megabytes of disk space. And we're going to add this to the, uh, the program manager group. We're going to click on next. And we're going to click on install and it's as you can see a very fast installation so once the installation has finished we are now presented with a new uh, program group folder right here which apparently the file manager is behind us so we're going to go ahead and close out of the file manager and all we have to do is run uh, this calmira 2 program right here and as you can see it immediately uh just right off the bat looks 
very similar to Windows 95. It'll come up with uh, this window right here, giving you some information about the you know developers who made this, uh, their you know website, and of course the license terms right here. So this is version 3.3. So I assume at some point there had to be a 1.0 version. So this one has obviously been you know upgraded multiple times. A lot of the bugs have been you know worked out. So this is definitely. Uh, a more, I would say, stable release than probably the you know first few versions. So you can read the license if you want to. We're just gonna go, uh, gonna go ahead and click on OK, and it comes up with this box right here, which I found to be you know very interesting because this um, is very similar to that you know Welcome to Windows 95 box that you get when you first you know start up your computer, um, and it, it, it like has the same options on here. It gives you a Did you know tip. It's got uh, some contents, you know, over here to go to the help contents homepage. You can view the next tip if you want to. And you have the same uh, box down here to show the screen the first time you run Calmira each day. So we're going to go ahead and just uh, click on close to get out of this. So let's see if we can go ahead and close out of the program manager without it ending our session. Okay, so it's not going to uh, allow us to do that. So the program manager, we're just going to have to uh, minimize down here. And you can see what it does. Let's get out of this, you know, control panel thing. You can see what it does is it um, kind of has the same functionality, actually the exact same functionality as the taskbar from Windows 95. They even have some of the Windows 95 icons as well. So this icon right here is the program manager icon in Windows 95. If you didn't know, uh, Microsoft did bundle a you know slimmed down version of the Windows 3.1 program manager in Windows 95, and you could. Uh, you know run it and launch programs from it. It was just a little bit different because it obviously wasn't designed to be the main interface of Windows 95 But uh, they made this icon right here, which is the exact same one from Windows 3.1 Let's take a look at what the, the start menu looks like So we go ahead and uh, click on start here and you can see that again right off the bat it, It's very very similar if not identical to Windows 95 except for this Calmira 2 branding over here instead of you know obviously Windows 95 um, there is no like moving the mouse over uh, these different icons. You have to actually click on it um, for it to actually get highlighted there. So let's go ahead and get out of the uh, Calmira help there. One thing that it did not change is it did not add the X minimize and maximize buttons to the right side over here. So the title bar is essentially the same as in Windows 3.1. Um, and you can also see when you open uh, programs off of the desktop, the icon will disappear until you go ahead and close out of that program and then it will reappear here. They also have created a tool called the Calmira Explorer, which acts as a Windows Explorer alternative. So we can go in here, we can view uh, the file structure of uh, the hard drive, we can launch files from here. We've got a, like a ton of options up here to you know cut, copy, paste, delete, rename files, all that good stuff. And when we go to help and about, it's going to come up with the uh, Calmira 2 3.3 dialog box that we saw at the very beginning when we launched Calmira for the first time. So in here, you know, as I said, you can, it kind of definitely functions like, you know, Windows Explorer and also the file explorer from Windows 3.1 to where you can view uh, the directory tree on the left side. So we also have the option to launch the MS-DOS prompt from here, which just immediately takes us out of uh, the Calmira interface and brings us to uh, the MS-DOS mode. So it's not gonna open up in a window like it did in Windows 95, but honestly, all of those like really under the hood things, you know, they obviously can't really change. You wouldn't install this program back in 1997 and get like all of the Windows 95 functionality, but for a free piece of software, number one, and for the fact that this is just something that you install on top of Windows 3.1 to give a different interface to it, it actually does a really, really good job at doing it. We're gonna go just to close out of the DOS prompt here. Um, so let's go ahead and get out of the uh, Calmira file manager here. And let's go in, into the start menu here. So in the settings menu, they have you know added shortcuts to the control panel. When we click on this control panel folder right here, it has uh, basically brought every single um, control panel from the Windows 3.1 control panel. I'm saying control panel so many times, but um, you get what I'm saying. Like it's like it's brought all of those different um, like uh, those different icons when you would go into the Windows 3.1 uh, control panel and it's uh, brought them into this folder right here essentially so you don't have to open up a whole window to say change your mouse uh, preferences you can just go in here uh, click on mouse and it will come up uh, with this uh, specific control panel here and obviously it still works just as you would expect it to you know we can test 
uh, the mouse clicking, we can change the mouse tracking speed, uh, double click speed. We can turn on, you know, mouse trails if we want to. Essentially, all it's doing is it's just launching Windows 3.1 programs from a new interface. And you also have a good amount of uh, customizability with the start menu and with the taskbar. You'll see we also have some uh, quick launch icons over here as well, which was another feature in Windows 95. Uh, we can, you know, go ahead and launch Notepad here, and you can obviously change this to be whatever you want it to be. So when you right-click on the taskbar down here, it'll come up with this uh, context menu, which, you know, gives you some options to change the uh, taskbar and start menu properties. Uh, you can launch the task manager even, which the task manager is actually pretty cool on this because, let's go ahead and I'll launch it here and I can show you. Uh, it, it actually looks nothing like the Windows 3.1 and the Windows 95 task manager. It looks more like a Windows NT task manager. And there are no tabs up here. You know, the only tab that you have is the applications where you can, you know, let's say if I wanted to, well, I guess I don't really want to end the program manager because it'll, you know, shut down Windows. But if I wanted to, I could uh, click on end task right here and I can, you know, terminate tasks just like you would in like a Windows NT task manager. I can even create uh, new tasks as well and it'll come up with uh, the run program. So let's say I wanted to launch, um, I think it's P brush in Windows 3.1. can launch uh, the paintbrush here and, you know, as you know, as you saw, it works just as you would expect a run dialog box to work. You know, pretty simple. So we'll go ahead and close out of that. We'll get out of the task manager here. We can also go into the start menu properties here and uh, kind of change what actually shows up when you click on the start menu here. So, for example, if I wanted to, uh, let's say that this programs thing up here, if I wanted the favors to go above that. Uh, I can change that. I can move the documents up here if I wanted to. So I can totally change or oh, you first have to click OK, obviously. But uh, you can see that now, you know, the documents is up here. Uh, you can see that they have your favorite documents go here because uh, you can actually add documents to this. So definitely a good amount of uh, customizability to the start menu. Um, we can even go in, uh, over to preferences here and you can even change it to uh, be a normal Windows 3.1 menu. So let's go ahead and see what that looks like. So now we'll, when we go in here, it's definitely a more minimalized uh, start menu. So it's not uh, that full graphical thing like the Windows 95 start menu is, but it's just uh, some you know very minimal options here that looks you know more similar to Windows 3.1. Uh, it's it still has the the you know same functionality. We can go into settings here into control panel and see all of uh, our control panels in here. It's just not. Uh, as graphical as the Windows 95 one, which is what I would think most people would prefer if they were using this. They would want it to look like Windows 95, so they probably would uh, keep the Windows 95 menu. And we also have the uh, the option to enable support for the Windows 95 start menu key. So if you were using a keyboard that had the Windows key on it, uh, you can turn this option on, click on OK, and now when I press the Windows key, when you press it once it's open, it doesn't close it, but if I am at the desktop here and I press the Windows key, it will come up so that is definitely really nice as well one thing they also included which i forgot to mention is the recycle bin right here so if you don't know windows 3.1 does not have a recycle bin that was actually a feature introduced in windows 95 which essentially is a place to when you delete files they'll stay in the recycle bin to where if you realize you accidentally deleted something you can go into the recycle bin and uh recover it i'm sure everybody knows what this is but they have essentially created their own version of the recycle bin for uh, their interface here so let's say let me get out of the recycle bin here let's say i'm in the uh, calmere explorer let's uh, delete something that we don't uh, need let's actually go to our uh, c drive and let's say we want to delete um the calmere setup file here so i can uh, do that i can uh, click on delete here and it will say are you sure you want to move one item from c to the bin click on yes and it will move that over here to the bin essentially this is just going to act as a separate folder on the hard drive which is really what the, the recycle bin is you have to actually de delete them from here for them to actually be um you know deleted off of your computer but um we can go ahead and just you know restore this if you want to you can uh, fully delete or you can empty the bin so let's say empty bin is going to say are you sure you want to delete one item from the bin click yes and now that file is um, gone. So that is essentially how that the recycle bin works in Calmira. Again, very you know identical functionality to how it works in Windows 95 and later versions of Windows. It's obviously a very simple you know concept that I guess was very easy for them to replicate. One thing that you cannot do is just drag files over the uh, recycle bin icon and have them 
uh, be deleted. That is something that you cannot do. You have to actually uh, right click on it and move it to the bin. So there you have it. That is a look at the uh, Calmira shell. Again, just a free open source alternative shell to Windows 3.1 that makes it look and feel a lot more like Windows 95. As you saw from this you know, demo here, there's, there's definitely a lot of uh, really cool things that they did to actually uh, accomplish this. Obviously, if you wanted to have this interface start automatically with your computer, all you'd have to do was to, uh, to add uh, a shortcut to the uh, Calmira executable here into uh, your startup folder, and it will automatically start when your computer starts up. Um, but that is essentially it. Let's go ahead and uh, close out of that here. And when we go into uh, the start menu here and uh, go to shut down, here we have a few options. One more option is to actually quit out of Calmira and go back to the program manager, or we can actually exit Windows, restart Windows, or you know reboot the entire computer. So let's just go ahead and quit out of Calmira. And now we will be uh, presented once again with the classic program manager. So that is essentially going to wrap it up for today's video. Uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, definitely be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Be sure to get subscribed down below and turn on notifications if you haven't already to uh, get notified whenever I upload new videos, which I do every week here on this channel. Uh, also, be sure to uh, drop me a comment down below uh, letting me know your experience with Calmir. Have you ever used this? Uh, is this your first time hearing about it? And if you did use it, what, you know, what was your experience with it like? Um, I'd, I always enjoy reading what you guys have to say, and I'm sure uh, other people in the comments would love to hear other experiences actually using this program. As always, guys, I just want to thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.